Hello everyone. Welcome to my Sky Utopia Physics project, which is issued by the National Service Scheme, Ferguson College, Pune. So let me begin by introducing myself. My name is Sandhya Jesse Mary. I'm a first year BSc Physics student in Ferguson College. So what are the motivations for this project? When I was first asked to consider a social issue and combat it with a scientific solution, which is the topic for our project, I was a bit confused, honestly speaking, because there are so many problems around us and I doubted if I could come up with something specific to solve those issues that hasn't already been considered. But then I realized that if I used my scientific knowledge and technological skills as a base and if I could improve the life of at least one person, then that is a testament to the success of my education and upbringing. So that's why I want to address the issues of a particularly disadvantaged group of people among us, which is the blind. So the topic for my project is the third eye for the blind, which is a vibrating ultrasonic project for blind persons. It's a system which allows the visually impaired to sense the obstacles ahead by means of ultrasonic motion sensors paired with vibratory and auditory feedback. So what is the project foundation? Basically, the background of this project is that first I'm going to consider the world around us, the visually impaired, some of the navigation aids which are available at present and the disadvantages of these aids. So first of all, please consider all these beautiful pictures. Many of us have seen these at some point or the other and it's beautiful, right? But how many of us truly appreciate this wondrous beauty around us in terms of the fact that we can actually see them because there are so many people that we may know or not know of who can't appreciate these. Someone once said that sometimes losing something makes us realize how precious it really is and I t intend to agree with them. What if one day we lose our precious eyesight with which we see the world around us? This would be the world around us then. And there are so many people who are affected by this issue. There are people who do not have this God-given gift of sight, which we enjoy. And they, as a result, they face a lot of challenges in their daily life. And one of the challenges that I wish to address is their simple act of navigation. For them to safely and comfortably move from one place to another, they require the aid of external assistance. And I would like to present some of the currently available aids to the visually challenged for navigational purposes, one of which is the white cane, a guide dog, assistance by trained people, assistive technology like electronic travel aids, position located devices, etc. There are navigational applications like ACM Digital Library Science Direct, which is all available in our smartphones and it can help the blind persons to navigate in, in their indoor environment. And there are non-visual and aids like ultrasonic sensors, IR sensors, etc. Let me address some of the disadvantages of these commonly used devices. First of all, we have the white cane, which is used by majority of blind people. It may get stuck on the sidewalk. It can get damaged due to various reasons like scraping the pavement and the reflector may get peeled off or it can get cracked. And also it takes a lot of practice to properly use a cane, especially for a newly blind individual. Then we have the, the guide dogs and these are very expensive and they require a lot of training. Also, a blind person needs to pay attention to overhead obstacles. Uh, it's not that big of an issue though. Then we have auditory aids of both visual and non-visual kinds, which is nothing but the electronic aids itself. But here I wish to address the auditory feedback mechanism because the usage of these require extra attention to be paid to the distinct signals. 
uh, that is basically when we have the auditory signals as well as the other sounds from our environment which a blind user receives directly so a lot of concentration is required to distinct distinguish between the two so what is our new proposition here which is an innovative effective and affordable sensor module consisting of an ultrasonic radar system, vibratory motor, and a buzzer. Next, we have the project description. So the primary objective of this project, the third eye for the blind, is to design a reliable and low-cost product, which is useful to those people who are visually impaired and who have to rely on others for their locomotory needs. How does this device or project help? visually impaired people to move from one place to another that is by the use of ultrasonic waves which will be emitted by a device which can be worn uh, with the help of a wearable band and these devices will notify the user of obstacles in their path and with the help of buzzing sounds or vibrations and hence help them to avoid them so the sensor has been uh, designed with the principle of a sonar or radar in mind which is using ultrasonic waves to measure the distance and the system consists of a buzzer to generate an alarm sound and also a motor to generate vibration signals so by using the combination of all these devices it will help to inform the user of the obstacles in their path so this is a low cost efficient and portable device that offers many advantages and few disadvantages and one of the primary reasons why i consider this project is because of the total cost of this variable piece of technology being less than rupees 1500 it's also relatively simple to make and that's why it points to the inclusion of further innovation and development leading to even better alternatives in the future. So these are a few pictures of, uh, of the device, how it looks like and its prototypes. Now, what are the components and tools which are required? We require Arduino Nano with the cable and then headers, ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, zero PCB, vibration sensor, battery cap, want a battery, solder wire, soldering iron, connecting wires, and an LED. And the LED is optional, actually. Uh, and the circuit diagram is shown. And let me move on to the experimental setup. How is it done? There are the few simple steps shown here, which is to connect the headers to the Arduino and to solder it to the breadboard. Then to connect the ultrasonic sensor to a header and solder that to the breadboard. Finally, we connect the wires between the Arduino Nano and the ultrasonic sensor as shown in the circuit diagram. Also, we join a battery to the Arduino and fix the buzzer to the board and connect it to the Arduino Nano. Then we can upload the code to the Arduino Nano via a USB cable. Then we can check whether the system works correctly with the help of the buzzer. Finally, if everything is done correctly thus far, we connect the vibration sensor to the Arduino Nano and connect it to the board. So then we can attach the elastic band to the whole setup and use it in the form of a glove. Or there are other ways to alter this by creating more than one such sensor module. We can attach it to different limbs such as our shoulders and to our kneecaps. And this is also pretty effective or we can attach these modules to uh, objects like a cane or cap according to our personal preference so whatever works actually now what are the pros uh, it is very easy to use because uh, it requires very little training also it's simple efficient easy to operate and wear and it is also helpful because of the low power consumption and it works with pretty good accuracy. So this provides a very helpful solution for blind people to navigate comfortably and independently in inside to move inside the house or in some other enclosed space by themselves. So what is the cons of this project? There are a few, which is to 
It is difficult for us to estimate its effectiveness in an outdoor environment due to the higher number of obstacles to detect and notify about. Also, auditory signals require extra attention for effective response, as was previously mentioned. So that's why we can actually uh, attach a vibratory uh, sensor also. So that's more effective sometimes. Now, what are the suggested improvements? Yes, there are some, which is that the entire product can be made in the form of a jacket, so that this device doesn't need to be worn one by one. Then the use of specially designed boards instead of Arduino Nano and high quality ultrasonic sensors, which provide faster response. And this can make the device capable of working even in a crowded environment. And also further improvements in its features can be made by the help of advancing technological improvements and developments. And that's about it for my presentation. And one more thing that must be mentioned is that before doing this project, I conducted a small survey among a few blind people. And one of the things that they told me about was that the problem with these technologies that are coming up, especially uh, these uh, smart, I mean, uh, the applications and the devices is that most of this is not available for many blind persons, especially in rural areas where there is very few technological developments. So I believe at least that as researchers, if we are aiming to create such uh, wearable pieces of technologies or other research materials and what is products is required is that we need to make it feasible and economically viable for the common people it must be available to all the people otherwise there's no point in us making these devices right so that's why this project is useful in that the college students themselves can make these as long as they have some technological uh, background also it can be effectively dispersed by us itself, us ourselves, to the surroundings. So that's pretty useful at least. Then that's all. Thank you so much.